our channel what we needed to, to discuss with them. We've had this discussion before when the Senate president came and they asked us what we wanted, so we told them. So it was just a reminder that we're still here expecting you know, the outcome of the last meeting that we had. So it wasn't really a big problem. Yes, we didn't train yesterday, but you know, we came here for the World Cup and nothing has changed from that. Yeah, I think you have to give you know, credit to everybody. As I said, um, the presidency sent this delegation here with the Senate President. The Senate President was in Wales, Post Minister, the NFF, and then Mr. President uh, got me on phone and the, and the Chief Coach this morning. So I think it helps a lot when you hear from Mr. President that he's behind you. You know, He's the leader of our country. We're here to represent our country and he showed his support. He reassured us that he's, he's behind us. And um, hopefully, if we do well, if we beat France and He's going to come and visit us and, and watch the next game. So that's very important. It's a big moral booster to know that Mr. President is behind us and the whole country is behind us. Nothing. Nothing is going to change. These distractions has been there even before we played our first game. So if things don't go well, that's, that's, that's football. But one thing you cannot you cannot do when you get on the pitch is not, not show up, not put on a good character and, and fight. You, know? you win football games, you lose football games. But one thing I can assure you, you saw the fight against Argentina. This is the same character, the same spirit that we want, especially what we showed in the second half. We're going into this game trying to win this game. But this is sports, this is football. People who know that understand that when you give your best, anything can happen. And we're going into this, uh, the game against France, try to do the same thing, give our very best, make sure we do everything to try and win this game. We don't know what the outcome is going to be, but we're very positive that if we give our very best, if we fight very hard, we can win this game. Only three uh, financial issues are aside. This is our career as well. This is a knockout stage. Most of us, most of the players, is their first World Cup. They want to prove something. They want to leave a legacy. At least my third World Cup, probably my last one. So I couldn't ask for any better. So there is a lot towards playing and, and qualifying than, than money issues. The money issues or other issues has always been there. It was there in the first game, the second game, even the third game before we qualify. So, but it's also good to clear our mind that those things are behind us now. We, we only focus on football. As I said, there are a lot of people that have been involved trying to resolve this issue. This issue has been there, not only in this camp, there's always been issues in all Super Eagles camp. But for once, it's also good for people to clear their mind. You know, maybe, maybe this is a lesson learned that in the future, you don't want to go into the tournament having issues like this. But as I said, credit to everybody, the NFF that played a big role, the sports minister, the senior president, all the delegation that came. And then Mr. President himself got in touch this morning, so that was a great news and a big relief. So very focused, we go out there, do our very best, make Nigerians proud, make our families proud, but it's a knockout stage, we know what it takes, it's sad to say, but you never know what is going to happen, but what I can assure of my team is we go out there, fight very hard to make sure that we win and qualify for the World of Finals. Honestly, I don't know, you know, I believe it or not, but I'm not really talking about it in this game, for me it's just getting into the quarter Finals, I haven't been there before, I think the World Cup comes before achievement. If it happens, it's a great thing, but I will swap a win for anything. And, and this is my focus. I will swap to qualify for the quarterfinals and breaking any record. But if it happens, if it's going to happen on that game, so be it. I heard it. Some people said it's 99, some people said it's 100. I'm not even interested right now. I'm just interested in playing football, doing well, making sure that Nigeria does well in this tournament. I will think about it after the tournament. But right now, honestly, I haven't really thought about it. I don't know how I'm going to feel on that day. So. Now speaking to you, it's just one of those days that we focus on the